Welcome to the biggest scam of your life. It is so bright, so if you guys can't see me, I'm not gonna change it, I'm too lazy. It took me so long to find my freaking parking spot. I parallel parked for this video. You're watching live footage of me trying to find somewhere to film. It's so cold, I should've picked a better day to do this. There she is. I'm so proud of you. Please don't get robbed. Oh my God, what if she gets robbed? We are currently in front of, I don't know where we are. Let's get started. If you're watching this video, you're probably either a high schooler who is in the process of going to college or you're thinking at least two years ahead. Good for you if that's the case because God knows I didn't fucking think ahead. Or you're probably a senior in high school who just got your acceptance letter and you're trying to figure out what the hell to do and what to expect. Also, you could be a nostalgic senior like I am and you kind of want to look back at the past four years of the fever dream you've lived out at your respective campus. Um, I am the oldest of four siblings in an immigrant family, so I was the very first one to go to an American college, and I basically had to figure everything from FAFSA to dorms to just getting used to the environment of college by myself, so it's a lot. So that's one of the primary reasons I wanted to make this video. I made a list of advice I wanted to give you guys. I've honestly put in... What is going on? The one time I decided to come back to campus, everyone is here. But I put in a ton of um, advice into this list. This took more effort than anything I've done this entire semester because I just like, I have put in no effort this semester. If you're my professor and you're watching this, please, please turn this off, turn it off. I got my overpriced campus coffee, so let's get started. Okay, you know what? We're gonna start out blunt. You're gonna be fucking lonely. I think that's something that a lot of students who come into college don't really understand that being lonely is part of the process like you're coming in from out of state or you could be like me and you're going to a college that you literally grew up in like this campus was my backyard when i was a kid but i didn't know anybody really when you're in college you are solely responsible for your everyday life like you choose when you wake up you choose if you're gonna go to class or not you choose what you want to eat where you go after class you want to go to the library the gym it's all up to you and it sounds really easy because a lot of times people are just like okay like yay i finally get to do my own thing no like mom or dad to like bother me and tell me what to do but the hardest part about it is you're completely alone and it's really hard to make friends it's super super hard to make friends when everybody is doing the same thing as you which is just putting themselves first i will say if you are feeling lonely you might be doing something right like maybe you want to go and join this magazine or you want to join the school newspaper or a extracurricular sports club or something and you find out that all the friends that you made in your one class or your friends in your i don't know in your dorm don't want to do it do it anyways. Like you have no reason to hold yourself back for other people. And like high school, the friends you make your first year very likely will change by the second semester of your freshman year. And that's just part of the process. And I say embrace it. And I say, this is your chance to do anything you want and put yourself first. That's the first part of advice. How do I, I am fucking cold. I really should have thought this through. I'm really, really cold, okay. Now here's some advice for people who really don't want to be lonely because there are days where I'm just like I cannot like stay in my dorm room and stare at the ceiling for any longer like I need to talk and interact with people. Go out and talk to your hallmates, talk to your classmates, go to office hours and talk to your professors. Most of them are sitting there waiting for somebody to come and chat with them. You will meet people just by saying hello. Like again, because everybody is so fucking lonely, most of the time people will talk back. Join clubs is another thing. Like you will meet the best people and the worst people from going to these random meetings that try to bait you on like the day they say, I don't know, what do they call, what do they call it for? A Every university has a thing where they allow all the clubs to try to bait new freshmen into joining their organization and stuff. If you do actually go and join an organization, you might find a lot of friends. Those people who share similar interests with you, they are the ones you'll be stuck with for the next four years. So you might as well meet them and like get some names and see if like they have any mutual friends who are in classes or same majors as you. You will meet some unexpected people and some close friends just if you put yourself out of your comfort zone and say hello to people. 
Now, alongside meeting people in your classes or your organizations, one thing that I really wish people would tell you is one, you will meet the best and the worst people in college. You know, most of these colleges you go to, especially in a college like UNC where it's like, what, 30,000 people? Not every single person is super nice and also not every single person is a dick, though you will meet some dicks. You are going to meet some people who just like think they're the best and then they're gonna be like, oh, like I went to Harvard, but I chose to come here because they gave me scholarship money. Okay, like shut the fuck up. Like we're both here. Like it doesn't matter. If you meet someone who is going to try to like shut down your hobbies or your major or try to make you feel like you're not doing enough, fuck them. Like literally don't be their friend. Yeah, literally move on. Like don't even waste your breath on them because you are on a campus with thousands of people and if you're gonna walk in thinking you're the best person, you need to sit the fuck down, like sit down. I, and I mean that with all harshness I can manage because it's frustrating and it's also kind of rude because every single person worked their ass off to get into university. Well, most people work their asses off to get where you are. We are all part of the same campus. We are all part of the same community. Don't be a prick. Don't be a prick. Let people do what they want. Everyone is on their own path in college. Don't be an asshole about it. Mind your business. Mind your damn business. I'm sure some people weren't thinking that that's how I was gonna go with this, but like literally mind your own business. As much as I'm telling you that people will be pricks, you can also be a prick. And that's like cold hard facts because I found myself falling into that rabbit hole of a comparison and being like, oh, like they didn't do this and this and this. Oh, they failed, blah, 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 blah. That, that's a total asshole move. And you will find yourself every now and then like thinking something that is judgmental, that doesn't feel judgmental at the time. But you have no clue what anybody is going through on this campus, ever. Everyone is going through it in their own pace. Is that a Modelo truck? Everybody is going through this part of their life at their own pace and they're all dealing with things on their own. Mental health is a huge, huge part of college that I wish people took a little bit more seriously and especially when it comes to imposter syndrome which you will hear so much in college especially as you're trying to find internships and jobs and like whatever. It's real. So don't be an asshole to somebody. If they're having a bad day and they're being a prick to you, I would say brush it off, ignore it for a little bit, but if they're always like that, then you know, uh, they can politely fall off a cliff. But anyways. And I kind of mentioned this before and I cannot emphasize it enough. It is not a race. Oh my God, are people overachievers? Especially if you do end up going to a college that's like ranked pretty high. Some people will really, really let that get into their heads and be like, yeah, I don't know a public ID. Okay, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And I wish my freshman self knew this, but you, you need to relax. relax. Like, I don't know who needs to hear this. And if you are that freshman right now who is like looking at list of clubs to join and trying to plan out your like next two years in college and exactly what professor and what class you want to take, relax. I need you to chill the hell out. You do not need that internship in Deloitte your first summer after college. You do not need to be in 18 credit hours and overload when you start. You need to chill out. I'm the oldest sibling of four kids, so I put the pressure on myself to do really, really well and set an example, and I missed out on stuff. Like, I missed out on a ton of things. I didn't really get a summer to myself, and I just joined and accepted whatever internship was thrown at me, and then I realized, like, even now as a senior, I don't really love what I'm doing. Like, I didn't really enjoy myself. I wish that somebody had just told me, like, stop caring about the name stop caring about your resume and it's really really easy to get swept up in it because you will meet some super smart people who are like yeah, I'm interning at a Harvard med school and I am the freaking dummy they practice on I don't know some shit like that but you just need to chill you need to chill you're like what 18 years old when you start college relax literally relax half of you I can bet haven't even properly dated somebody which is another thing I have to push being single sucks. Dating someone also fucking sucks. There is no better situation to be in in college, okay? You will meet people who are in long-term relationships every other month, and they'll meet the love of their life every two weeks. Or you're gonna meet someone who complains about being alone. There is no better option. They both equally suck in college. You're gonna feel like you're missing out on stuff when you're dating someone, and you're still gonna feel like you're missing out on like life experience when you're single. There is no race, especially when it comes to love.
that's a joke. It doesn't, I don't know enough about relationships. Don't, don't quote me on that shit. People who are like, I have to be ahead of the game. If that's your sole focus, your entire life, you're not really living. And I don't know how much more I can push that because as I'm about to graduate in the next two months, I really wish that I had spent a little bit less time focusing so much on doing what was expected of me rather than what I really wanted to do. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I can't get like a sociology degree. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Get it anyways. Literally get it anyways. Do, uh, who gives two shits? Your university and your major really doesn't matter when it comes to the job search. And if you date someone and have seven trillion boyfriends or girlfriends by the time you graduate, or if you didn't even touch another fucking person while you're in college, it doesn't fucking matter. If someone is gonna judge you for any of those things, don't be their fucking friend. Put yourself first. Don't do anything you don't wanna do. Easy as that. And I guess like my final like really big piece of advice would just be like this is your time to make mistakes and this is your time to grow. Make those mistakes, get the fuck up, and then just keep going. I know a lot of people who took breaks. A lot of people think that you have to graduate in four years. That's not true. Everybody sets their own pace and you decide what you want. And you will regret plenty of things. I'm not gonna list anything just because I don't really wanna think about it, but at the same time, like, if you do things that you know that you would like never wanna do again, then at least you learn something out of it. I don't know how old you are, or where you are, and what stage you are in life. You're gonna be fine. You're really, really going to be fine. No one has the answer. There is not one set path. There is not one set way you have to live your life. And that's advice about life in general, not even college. And it's gonna suck sometimes, but you're also going to have the best time of your life. You're gonna meet amazing people. You're gonna learn so much about yourself. You're gonna take awesome classes with people who are equally as passionate about the same subject as you are, and you're gonna be taught by somebody who also loves it as much as you do. And that is the best part of college. So don't let the assholes bring you down. Don't let the stress get to your head. Say no. Go and drink if you want. Go and lie down in bed for three days straight if you want. There is no right answer. There is no way to plan exactly what you want to happen. That's just how life is. And it's great, like it's absolutely great. So yeah, done being philosophical. You're gonna be okay. Like whoever you are, where you are. If I can survive this shit, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> and if you need more life advice, come find me. I don't know if I'll be very helpful, but. If you are an incoming UNC Chapel Hill student, I do have some specific advice for you. Will it actually be helpful? Um, questionable. But you can decide what you want to listen to or not. Do not go Greek your first semester. Don't do it. I can't... <sighs> okay. I went Greek my first semester of college. I was scammed, quite frankly, and I'm not afraid to say it out loud. I had no idea what the hell I wanted to do my first year of college. And this is nothing against Greek life. To tell you the truth, like I actually am grateful I joined. I was part of a multicultural one. And it gave me people who actually related to me and people who shared similar experiences as me as an Asian American student. However, when you are a 18 year old on a brand new campus with thousands of people, it's easy to get baited into thinking that you need to join an organization like Greek Life to fit in in a community. That's not fucking true. And they will try to sell you on the fact like, your community, there's so many connections, blah, 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 blah. No, it's a commitment and you're paying to be a part of this commitment. So if you want to get into Greek Life, wait. Okay, give yourself some wiggle room between high school and college to figure out what the fuck you like, what the hell you want to do, and what your interests are. Don't freaking do it. Do not let these 20 year olds scam you into thinking that they can give you life advice. They cannot. They can't. Also, I can't make a college advice video without mentioning this, but frat parties? <sighs> They're dumb. I mean, you should go to one. I actually think everybody should go to maybe like a few frat parties a couple of times in your life just because it is a experience. 
is one way to put it. But they're really, really overrated. <laughs> like they're super overrated. There is something about the ambiance of being in a dingy basement surrounded by nasty men who are giving you watered down alcohol while your shoes are turning from like gray to a sludge. It's nice to your first few like semesters, maybe the first year of college. But then as you like start finding your little niche of people and you start moving off campus, for example, that shit is like overrated. It's so boring. It's so dumb. And it's honestly more fun to just hang out with your friends for like a wine night or getting belligerent drunk in a small little house off campus and then ordering a bunch of pizza afterwards. Like those frat parties are fun, but they're also just like kind of gross. People are slimy. The boys are greasy, like literally and figuratively, and it's just not worth it. Do not take the bus when it's raining. I know people are gonna be like, what? Like it's raining, I don't wanna get wet. Blah, blah, blah. Use a fucking umbrella, use an umbrella. And also those buses, especially when, and you'll understand this when you move on campus, you are living on South Campus and you think on a rainy day that you can just get on the RU and get to North Campus and get to your classes on time, you are incorrect because everyone else is thinking the same thing and that bus will drive right past you when it's full. And you're gonna be standing there looking like a doofus drenched in water and everyone on the bus will be crammed in there smelling moist and ugh, it just like it's just, everyone's wet and you're being pushed into this freaking bus and this bus driver has no regard to your life whatsoever and they will just keep driving and just chuck you out the door and keep going and you're gonna be disgusting regardless so you might as well walk and just bring an umbrella it'll save you time and you won't look and smell and feel disgusting afterwards You'll probably catch like a disease your freshman year. This is a uh, very UNC specific. Those dorms are fucking crusty. Like I think we forget that this university is like the oldest or one of the oldest public universities in the nation. Like this shit was established in like the what? The 18th century. My dorm, I lived in Krusty Craig. Yes, that was its nickname. It was one of the main like three big freshman dorms on South Campus. And I can tell you every single person who has lived in any South Campus dorm has probably gotten bronchitis at least once. There's definitely mold in the dorms. These buildings, half of the buildings, if you actually take the time to read the plaques, were all built in like 17 something or 18 something, okay? There's probably, you're gonna get a disease from either mold or a ghost. So be prepared for that. Go to Campus Health. They'll probably stick you a couple of times and just tell you you have a cold when really you have pneumonia. Not that I'm bitter or anything. But prepare for that. Make sure you have insurance. Make sure you have some nice friends who have cough drops on them like all the time and just stick through it because everyone gets sick at least once. And if you don't, then I don't know what the fuck, Larry Superman. I like someone's gotta do some tests on you. You're basically invincible. Also, this campus is so, so pretty. Like arguably the one thing that I will always flaunt about UNC is this campus is fucking gorgeous. I think the one thing that everyone in this school can agree on is how pretty this campus is so go outside people will go and sunbathe at random times or they will like just take a nap on the quad like go do that too i don't give a fuck like as long as you're not in the middle of the road it's fine you can do whatever you want another thing chapel hill is not just this campus and i'm like totally biased because i grew up here but chapel hill has so much stuff you need to do so the second you can get a car or you're friends with someone with a car go drive around town like this campus is great and there's so much to do but it's also not the town chapel hill is sitting in that nice sweet spot where in either direction you can go to like greensboro you can go to raleigh or Cary and durham they're all very very different from each other all you need is a car in like 20 minutes and then you can get to wherever you want because this campus as much as i love it and as pretty as it is there's so much more there's so much more out there so go ahead take the time take a weekend get in a car drive safely and explore a bit I hope wherever you are in whatever stage of life you're in, whether you're a high school student who's about to go to college, if you're a current college student, or God knows, I don't know, if you're a professor watching this, that this was somewhat helpful and had something that you could take away from it. I, again, 
I'm just getting nostalgic here, but I'm really, really grateful for my college experience and everything that happened to me, no matter how traumatizing or how like ridiculous it felt in the moment, because I have grown so much as a person and I'm sure plenty of people will feel the same way. And I hope that your college experience is something that you remember for the better. That's all I have for you guys. I'm freezing. I want to lie down. Um, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye, you guys.